Hello and welcome to Zebra BI Visuals for Power BI. I'm Andre of Zebra BI and I'll guide you through the basic functions of our visuals. Zebra BI visuals are advanced custom visuals for Power BI that will make your reports understandable and much more actionable. Our visuals employ several advanced data visualization methods like uh, we have a range of charts, waterfall charts, variance charts. Uh, we have small multiples that will allow you to achieve greater information density in your reports and dashboards. So you can use all of these features to create financial reports, uh, sales dashboards, cost reports, um, marketing reports, HR, um, uh, CRM analytics, and so on. So let's dive into the basic functions of Power BI. I'll show you a short demo to demonstrate the most important features of Zebra BI. I'm in Power BI desktop now. And uh, as you see here at the moment, I have the basic uh, visuals uh, in Power BI that are native, that come with Power BI. So the first step will be obviously to import Zebra BI visuals into your Power BI desktop. So you have uh, basically two options here. The first one is import from file. So after you've downloaded your Zebra BI visuals from our website, uh, you should have two files, uh, the PBI with files, and these are our custom visuals. So let me import the first one. So now this has been imported. So this is our first uh, Zebra BI visual. We call this visual Zebra BI power charts. And then the second one, let's import the second one. Uh, the second one is called Zebra BI power tables. All right, now that I've got both of our visuals in my Power BI desktop, we can start analyzing and playing around with the data. All right, let's start with the first one. So the, uh, the first visual that we've got is called the uh, Zebra BI Power Charts. And let me just throw in some data. I have sales data here, so I have the value and I will compare this value to my goal, right? So I've already got a nice little waterfall chart, right? Which is quite simple at the moment, but let's add uh, my month here. So what I got is a comparison between the, uh, uh, between, uh, the goal here and the actuals. All right, there's a one little detail here. Our Zebra BI charts um, actually distinguish between values like previous year, um, goal or target or, or plan or budget, right? And also forecast, so they understand the basic scenarios in business reporting. So that's why I will actually put my measure for my goal here into the placeholder holder for the plan, all right? When I do this, when I do this, uh, the uh, notation on the chart actually changes slightly. So now Zebra BI knows, knows that actually you have a plan and you have some actuals. And what it did here in this chart is it actually calculated the uh, difference, so the variance between actuals and the plan. So I immediately understand now that we are not achieving the plan, oh no. So we are 4.7% below the plan. So the Zebra BI will automatically calculate this. You don't have to, you know, uh, prepare your DAX measures for all the uh, year over year, actual versus plan variances and so on. This is all done by the Zebra BI visuals. Now, if you click here on this label, um, the uh, variance calculation will change. So now I understand that this is actually 1.1 million below the plan. So you can simply by clicking, you toggle between different calculations. This is all done in, in this interactive fashion. So it's really nice and easy for the end user. If you don't like this chart, no problem. You can simply uh, 
click here on our slider and you've got another chart. So this is not just one chart. Zebra BI Power charts contain a range of business charts where you can simply slide through different options. This one is more, I would say, um, more appropriate if you want to compare each uh, and understand each month what's going on, on, on in, in each month. Like in January, it's obvious here that we were below the plan for 457k and then on February you were more or less on the plan on March was very was good you know so so we're almost 1 million uh, above the plan which is here you see 34 34.3% above the plan right we've got other charts everything here uh, this is the uh, area chart again with the comparison to the plan or simple line charts with simple comparison. So you've got a range of options how to use the visuals. Um, all the visuals have um, you know, additional options. So for example, in waterfall chart, it's really easy to break the axis, just click and you know, uh, the axis will be broken here, uh, which will allow you to see the uh, variances you know, um, in a uh, they'll, they'll become uh, larger and easier to, to spot. But if you want to uh, maintain pixel perfect scaling and you know avoid any kind of uh, life factors and so on, then just keep it keep it by default because Zebra BI actually takes care that all the information is presented in a you know proper way. All right, so um, this is this were the this is the basic um, mode of of working with the visuals. Now the uh, um, one feature that we are very famous for is the uh, responsive the responsiveness of the visuals. So, for example, if you just have a small you know small chart here on your dashboard, like you don't have any you know a lot of space, you will have other visuals uh, around it you can make this chart very small and as you see here all the details are presented in in this uh, limited amount of space but now if you do have space you simply make the visual bigger you simply resize it and if the visual has enough space it'll actually calculate you know additional uh, additional data and present additional data. So you don't just get a bigger chart, you actually get a bigger chart with more details and actually you actually get more charts. So for example, if I make this even bigger, you see now that I've got space, um, I have three charts. This is my basic sales uh, with the plan at the back and then this is my absolute variance here and this is my relative variance here. So this is I would say uh, our first distinctive uh, feature of Zebra BI visuals, they're completely responsive always. Now the uh, next feature that I'm going to present are the small multiples. So this is something that is simply not possible in, in native Power BI. So um, uh, for example, if you now want to, let's take, a, let's take a waterfall chart here, right? So this would be, the waterfall chart actuals compared to budget for the whole company. Now what happens, uh, how can I explain this 4.7% now if you add more detail to the visual, like for example if we break this down by product category, I'll simply include product category here and what I got, what I got here within the same visual, <laughs> I've got 10 charts because I simply have 10 products. So what our visual does is uh, it actually presents all the information within the same visual. So this is called uh, the small multiples, right? So now I do understand that, you know, for each product, uh, what is the comparison to, to the goal for each product category. And this is where the power of, of the visualization really lies because now I can actually spot that, you know, we have a problem here in the woman th uh, woman's clothing uh, product category, for example. Um, I see here in this chart, oh, let's just switch this to, 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 to percent um, variance, percentage variance, right? So we see that we have a problem here, 33%, uh, you know, below the target in this particular product category. So you see, this is how you gain 
uh, gain knowledge by just breaking uh, your data and um, drilling down into, into the details. So now everything that we have done before, like sliding the charts, you can have uh, small multiples of area charts, small multiples of, of line charts, uh, small multiples of water, waterfall charts, you know, it can break the axis. It's really fast and, and extremely, extremely responsive. So this would be our first visual, right? So I would always, I would recommend you to always use the Zebra BI part charts when you present your data across time. So if you have a time series like monthly charts, quarterly, annual time series and so on, then use this visual, right? But then you also have other situations, you know? So sometimes you would like to just break your uh, values down by product category, by your customers, countries, business units, cost types and so on. So for this case, we have another visual that does a really good job for that situation. So let me explain. This is now Zebra. These are now Zebra BI part tables, our second visual. And I'll start with the same scenario. So let's throw in the sales. This, my sales is 22.1 million. I compare it to my plan. So I'll take this, my, take my goal, my plan measure, and I'll put it into the plan placeholder here, plan bucket. And immediately, as you see, already Zebra BI calculated what's the variance and I immediately see, all right, this is my 4.7% below the plan, not okay. But this time I'll break this down by product category here. And as you see, I've got, I've got all of my products. Uh, they're all sorted uh, from the most important product. So I immediately understand that, you know, the men's clothing, it's, it's, this is our major product category with 4.5 4 million and so on. And it's uh, more or less on the plan, right? Whereas this uh, woman's clothing here in, in, my, in my sales demo, for example, uh, it's just 1.8 million. And most, most importantly, it's not achieving the plan. It's 33.3% uh, below the plan. Now, this visual is, again, completely responsive. So if you don't have enough space, you know, you'll just make it really small and you've still got all the information you need in this small packed amount of, of space. Uh, but, oh. This is actually another feature. <laughs> um, what I actually wanted to show is, you know, you can resize it. And if there is enough space, Zebra BI will calculate also the relative uh, percentage here. And if you make it even bigger, you see you've got a nice presentation of all the data that you actually need when you're doing the comparison to plan. Uh, you've got your actuals, you've got uh, the deltas, the variance. So this is the absolute variance like in million dollars or euros and so on. And you've also got the relative percentage, right? Now that I've got all those charts, I can simply click on the label here. And this now um, actually sorts by any column that you want. So by simply clicking, clicking once on your column header, you will uh, sort your data so you can spot all right who are the fastest growing products or you know who are the laggards here you know who are the most problematic ones and so on right now this already with just two visuals if I make this one really really small and now I'll enlarge this one back so I've got a nice so you see just two visuals and I've already got a nice, a nice dashboard here, um, a nice report where now I can uh, use the fantastic um, uh, flexibility and interactivity of Power BI. So for example, if I just simply, you know, click on the woman's cat category, this will filter all of our, all, all the other visuals and I simply get, uh, you know, the details of the woman's category, you know, what's the situation by month. And we can see that, you know, each month we are just going down. So nothing is happening here. This, this needs to be, this needs a lot of attention here. Uh, on the other hand, you can control and click, right, to select two product categories. And what I've got here on the left side are 
is a nice comparison between two product categories, right? And if you observe um, really closely uh, this visualization here, you'll understand that both charts here on my left side are scaled, right? They have the share the same Y axis. So they're always scaled. So I do understand that this, uh, you know, the, the, the men's clothing is, is a much bigger product category, 4.5 million. Uh, the women's clothing category is a little bit smaller, right? But, you know, it has uh, a bigger variance, negative variance to plan. So you can simply compare any category you can simply just control click and add charts and zebra bi will arrange all of your charts uh you know in a proper way make sure that everything is readable understandable and actionable okay so this would be the i would say the most basic uh most basic um, features of our visuals um they do have of course many, many, many other options. Um, for example, the uh, in our Zebra BI, um, in our Zebra BI part tables, uh, you can actually build hierarchies. So for example, right now I only have product categories, but if I add another dimension, like something else, like a type of store or something, so, oh, I've got a store chain, for example, I can simply take this store Take the store chain and I will add this to my category here. All right. So I what I, what I did is actually build a hierarchy in my rows here. And as you see, uh, the visual has changed. The visual has changed because now Zebra BI Visual understands that you've got a hierarchy and it will allow me um, to present this hierarchy in a, in a better way. So I've got uh, a combination of a table with uh, charts for the variances and now you can simply, you know, close, expand and collapse uh, your rows so you can dig into, into the details. So you can actually drill into details with this nice little uh, expand collapse feature, right? And uh, it's completely unlimited, so you can dive into details. You can have uh, eight levels in your hierarchy. Everything in, it will work. And this is also um, a thing that you typically would need in a, you know, in a serious advanced report, especially in financial reporting where you, you've got your, um, you know, your accounts and you want to dive into, into the details. All right, um, I invite you to explore other settings. So I haven't even touched the settings yet. We'll do this in our uh, next videos, right? But of course you can change the colors, you know, for, for example, if you don't like the uh, default colors, of course you can change everything. Uh, you can simply switch between different uh, styles, predefined styles, or just use your custom styles. If you would like to have blue charts, no worries. You know, you can just simply change the, anything here, uh, add totals, subtotals, grand totals, um, display the uh, subtotals above or below. So lots of other uh, settings that we will e explore in our next uh, videos. With that um, functionality, you can now build sales reports, um, cost cost reports um, you know uh, PL statements uh, especially we've got this specific really nice presentation of the uh, PL structures like income statements and so on and you can use the same idea for the balance sheets and uh, cash flow reporting and so on you can build um, you know high level high level dashboards for senior management with comments and so on or you know very operational supply chain uh, crm hr or uh, like in this case website uh, website analytics uh, this is all possible with zebra bi visuals and we'll uh, dive into more details in our next videos so i invite you to stay with us um, make sure you explore our pbi uh, help page where uh, we have more tutorials like this uh, to um, enhance and uh, build uh, real-life reports. Thank you.